Welcome back to my channel. Before you do anything, like, subscribe, you know the deal. So let's continue and you clicked on this because you wanna know how to make one of these. I suggest making it shorter because this is just like excessive. Um, it's super easy, it took me about 30 minutes. So if you would like to see this, keep watching. The first thing you'll be needing is a glue gun, a headband, this one came with flowers on it. So I got extra flowers, some metallic paint, some glitter, which is gonna get everywhere, and some felt, a brush that you're okay with ruining by painting with it, and an empty paper towel roll, and some scissors. So with this, I'm pretty sure I did this wrong, but oh well, it still came out fine. So I cut it, not, I cut it diagonally, not straight, and rolled it how I kind of wanted it, and then glued the bottom together. And then just, you know, kind of worked my way up and I made sure that I held it so that it would stay put and wrapped it around and glued the ish out of that as well. And I only burnt myself, I think like twice. One of the times was really bad, but only twice. So that's really impressive. And don't worry about getting any of the like strings everywhere, you know, like the, the glue strings that look like little spider webs, you can take those off afterwards. So don't even worry about that. I was kind of freaking out about it, trying to be all clean, but you can remove those after. So no worries. Now you can see that we have a cone shape and the top is empty. So I took two pieces that were from like the inside and they're both the same size and they're like pretty much triangles. And I don't know why I just said pretty much triangles. Bish, those is triangles. So I rolled this like the edge a little bit and then kind of just rolled it into like a perfect cone, but it wasn't big enough. So then I did the same thing to the other one and just did it around it and glued it all together. Put pressure on it, pretty much the same thing. Just waited for it to dry because I didn't want to put it, like pop it through the bottom and stick it through the top of that without it actually being dry because that would have been awful. So then I popped it through the bottom, bottom, oh my God, I can't even speak, popped it through the bottom and uh, just held it there for a little bit. And you can see that there's some space, it's fine. So now we're going to make the swirl around the horn by going ahead and just forming it with the glue. This is probably actually my favorite part, I love this. With this part, you might want to, you know, try to be a little bit more precise than I was, but I don't know why. I just really didn't care about this part. So I was super messy <laughs> and just going along and, you know, as it was drying, just making it a little bit thicker, adding to each of the rows and just kept going on up. And at the top, I was able to fill in, like you can see right now, I was able to fill in the space between like the little gaps at the very top of the cone. And then I'm just adding on and I cut off that middle, that red rose because it didn't really match like the theme I had going on. And I'm going to glue a strip of felt. I almost called it velvet, that'd be fabulous. I glued on a strip of felt and then glued on just one more just so it was a little bit more sturdy. And so that I had, you know, more surface to stick things to. And see there you go now i have more of a strip to glue everything to and i'm going back in stirring up my paint because for some reason it gets like a little oily and separated and <laughs> going in with my mac foundation brush i don't know where all of my paint brushes went i'm not even going to try to ask tony because i asked him where the glue gun was and i went on a pretty much a treasure hunt for it I had no idea where it was so i'm just painting it all and turning it and the way I'm holding it is I have two fingers, like actually probably like three fingers, like stuck in the bottom of it and just like spread out. So I'm not really touching the outside of it at all. I'm just like turning it a little. And that was really the easiest way for me to do that. So I'm just painting all of it, turning it as I go and just making sure that I'm getting, you know, a, a good, probably like two layers on there. And also I know I said this in my intro and I'm pretty sure I said it my outro as well. Y'all don't have to make it this big. I saw people, <laughs> that sounds funny. Um, I saw people doing it with like toilet paper rolls, but that just seemed way too small. If you're doing it for a kid, then yes, go for it. Do it with a toilet paper roll. But I want to do paper towel roll because that's, it just seemed like a good idea, but it was real long. Like it couldn't even fit in like a picture that I was taking like a selfie of myself. 
a selfie of myself that doesn't make sense so now i'm just pouring the glitter on it and as you can see i have the like a tupperware top down just so i don't get it everywhere and i'm just kind of knocking it off a little bit as i go so i can get rid of the excess but i'm just turning it and pouring it and i did this before the paint was dry so that i didn't have to put any glue on it or anything and it would just stick to the paint and it's also easier as well if you, when you're turning it, if you point the end downward. So, you know, some of that excess will fall off, but it'll like stick back onto it. And this is also one of the reasons why like, if some parts of the horn weren't like perfect, I didn't really care because honestly, after you do this and then after you put it on the headband, you really aren't paying attention to those little imperfections of where, you know, maybe the glue isn't, it's a little bumpy in one area, or, you know, it might be a little, like, nubby. Is that even a word? <laughs> might be a little nubby in another area. So you're fine, don't even worry about that. And this part is out of frame. I'm really sorry about that, but what I'm doing right now is just loading on glue onto the bottom rim of the horn so that I have, like, enough for it to actually stick to the felt. You can kind of see it. You can pretty much see it. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on there. And also I didn't want it to stick straight up. I wanted it to be kind of at an angle. So when I hold it up, you'll see that right there, the part that I just glued is a little bit longer than the other side. So it's gonna make it, you know, go forward a little bit. And that's really what I was going for. Cause I don't know, it just seemed more unicorny. I didn't want it to look like, I don't want to look like a normal, you know, I want to look like a unicorn. So I just added another little piece of felt just so that my horn wasn't like falling off the side. And now I'm just putting glue all over that side. You can tell that I added some pink flowers to the front of it already. And now I'm just gonna add some flowers to the back as well. I always find it easier to apply glue straight to the object that you're like sticking your other thing to, if that made any sense. So you just push it down and I'm going to the other side. It doesn't have to be symmetric, or at least with me, I don't think it has to be, at least with these like, you know, DIY artsy things, um, especially with like flowers and stuff like that. And I'm just sticking everything down, making sure that nothing else comes loose, and also picking off, as you can tell now, all of these spider webby glue strings. And a lot of times I am huge on this part that I'm doing right now. So I'll go in between the flowers and, you know, the petals and I'll put glue there and like pinch them together so that, you know, maybe if one comes loose at its base, it's still connected by, um, you know, the other flower. It just makes everything more secure, makes me feel better and, you know, that it's not just going to fly off in the middle of, a, you know, an event or something. Not that I'm like wearing this to an event, but... You get the point. Just trying to make sure that every single thing is extra, extra secure. All right guys, thanks for watching. I am all about homemade Halloween costumes. As you can clearly tell, this was super fast, super easy. It's a little tall, so make your shorter unless you're okay with this. <laughs> so leave in the comments down below, what is your favorite homemade costume that you've ever done or that you've ever seen or anything like that. So I hope you have a great day, night, weekend, whenever you're watching this. Also, I'm sorry if you could hear Hubs in the next room over, he's playing video games. Nothing I can do about that. So, hope you all have a great day. That was really loud. And subscribe, thumbs up, like, that's the same thing. And I'll see you later. Bye. It is so hard to get this big ass thing to fit in a picture. <sighs> Does this look like a big waiter? Yeah.